Hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, Fitbit Quickie. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of these Red Power 2 uh, lo logic circuits. Uh, we are going to look at the timer, the counter, and the toggle latch. Let's see first how to, uh, you can uh, craft these. So, first, you're going to need these stone wafers and you make them by uh, smelting stone you get two p p per each uh, stone like so okay then you take these uh, stone wafers these are the base uh, and you can place them on the bottom and redstone dust on top then you can create uh, s stone wires Let's make a bunch of those. Okay, uh, you can or you need to also make a stone cathode. That's by placing uh, wafers on the bottom and redstone torch on top. So that's a stone cathode. Uh, then we need a stone pointer, uh, stone on top, torch on in the middle, and the wafer on the bottom, and that's a stone pointer. Let's make a few of those. And last, we need a, a stone anode. And it, the way you craft craft it, it is like so. So uh, wafers on the bottom and uh, redstone dust like a triangle. Let's make a few of those also. I don't have enough. Oh, yeah, there's some. Okay. And that's stone anode. Can you grab some more of these? These are the ingredients that you use to create all of the items that, for the uh, for these logic circuits. I have some in here. Uh, let's make the timer first. So it's two wafers like so. Two wires on the sides and on the top. The stone pointer in the middle, stone cathode, or is it stone? Yeah, it's stone cathode on the bottom, and the anodes goes on the bottom corners. Okay, so that's a timer. Let's place it on our uh, bar here. Okay, and then let's make the toggle latch. Uh, you make it by placing stone wafers. On the corners like so place a wire on each side a cathode on top uh, bottom and on top and a lever in the middle that's a toggle latch and finally the counter you make it uh, you place wafers on the corners a s do I have any yeah a pointer in the middle cathodes on the sides and the stone wafer, oh st sorry, stone wire on top and bottom. So that's a counter. Let's take those and let's see what you can do with these. Okay, start off with the timer. As you can see, it's on by default and it will emit or send a redstone signal th three these three outputs. Going to actually grab a red alloy wire so I can more easily show you like that. And this side doesn't emit the signal. Let's place a one block there and one here so I can sh show it to you more easily. You can uh, stop this by giving out redstone signal to the this side of the. Uh, timer like that you can also stop it from these two sides so these are both the output and the input and here also but on this side it doesn't stop it okay so input only input only output and these two are both inputs and outputs you can also configure the interval that the timer has. So with right click, you can open up this uh, this screen 
and at the moment it's two seconds and you can configure it here to whatever you want so five seconds it's slower and uh, you're gonna go as down as 0 0.2 seconds which is a fast impulse okay that's the timer let's take a look at the uh, toggle latch next actually I'm going to flip this over so I can more easily show you uh, this doesn't have a GUI it ha has this lever on which you can uh, select the output so this will emit redstone signal depending on which way it's pointing and these two which are like a line are the ones that control the uh, controls the uh, toggle latch so you can change the uh, emitting torch with this or by sending a signal through here okay and the same for the other side as well okay so what basically this is is a button there or oh, let's place the button here so that there and a piston okay so that basically is a T flip-flop in one block like that or with a uh, with a door if you will Oops. Okay. So toggle latch. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> toggle latch. I was meant to say uh, a, a T flip flop. Okay, and finally, let's take a look at the uh, counter. So on this, you have four different uh, sides that that all do dif different things. So as you can see, now that the uh, counter is pointing at the edge, that all the way to the edge that it can go on this side, this redstone torch will em uh, emit signal. And when it go go counts up and goes to this side, only this will emit, emit the signal. And let's take a look at the uh, configuration. So in here you can set the maximum count that the counter is going to tick so this is zero and that's the maximum count so if we set, set this to let's say five then after five uh, redstone impulses this will get turned on and this will of course turn off uh, at the moment that first impulse is given to this counter the increment is how many uh, steps this counter will take on each uh, redstone signal and the decrement is oh I must yeah I, I need to show you first this so as you can see the plus side is in in this side and this is the minus side or the negative side these are the ways that you control this increment and decrement so increment is the plus and decrement is it is the minus so if I give one tick on the plus side this will go uh, up one like that and if we give it the decrement one it will go down one okay and after five two three four and five this side will get the power and if the decrement for example is five and we give this side one in, uh, signal it will turn all the way in here because it will decrement the five that is the maximum like so okay and then let's turn it today now a couple of examples on what you can do with these I showed the uh, toggle latch thingy in here so that was the uh, 
stiff flip flop here. Okay. Oh, that's a bad example, but <laughs> you get the idea. I did show it already. So this is a better example. <laughs> okay. Uh, with the timer, you can, of course, guess what what's the uh, what you can do with it. It will impulse a signal every time it uh, turns or this time passes. Okay, and by combining these do these these things with the counter, you can of course uh, calculate how many uh, redstone signals you. Oh, that's the wrong one. That. How many redstone signals you have received, and when the maximum hits, you can do whatever you want with it. One thing that I have used all the, all all of these trees together combined is a thing to calculate and oops and try to give out the redstone signals uh, whenever I want, uh, and it automatically will turn off. So let's see if I can remember how, how it was. Mm, let's place a toggle latch here, then a timer here. Now this side is uh, turned on, the timer is stopped at the moment. Okay, and then we need the counter. Uh, let's place it here. Uh, not here. Oops, here. <laughs> Okay, and now we can configure this that the maximum count is 5 and the decrement is 5. So this will give out 5 impulses, uh, 5 signals to the counter, it will count to 5 and hit this side. Okay, and that will stop the circuit. And when we... Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to show you. so. Let's turn that into one second. So this will count to five and turn off the uh, uh, the circuit. And five, and it's turned on. Oh, sorry, turned off. Uh, and if we do this, it will do the decrement like so. So it's now it's on. Uh, now what was I going to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's now it's on on this side. So if we, if I turn it on again, so I might have a lever. Turn it on. It will count to five and then stop, and also reset itself. And for for this, you can well you can do whatever you want. I have used this to uh, give out uh, or to place the. Uh, bone meal for my wood farm but for example you can oops you can do this so it, that will impulse five times now and then it, it will stop like so now this is just an example on what you can do with these all of these three so it kind of, kind of like a counter a uh, uh, big big counter <laughs> Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention one thing, uh, like the red uh, alloy wire, which can be placed on uh, on uh, uh, on uh, what's that called? <laughs> Walls and ceilings. Uh, all of these can also be placed on walls and ceilings. Okay. So now I will thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.